Hey everybody, Jay Barino here, and welcome back. We're finishing UED AIP created by Necron. Well, I don't want to say we're finishing it forever. Uh, we have played all six of the base campaigns leading up to this moment to Eye of the Storm and the Vanilla Protoss mission. We did play the Brood War campaigns first. They're in the playlist. You should check them out. You should play this for yourself. Apparently, a lot of these missions have gotten tweaked in big and small ways since I have showcased them, so you should check it out. Uh, anywho, this isn't necessarily the end. It's the end for now. It's the end of the main series, but Necron is working on something called UED AIP Beyond, so there will be more missions. Uh, but for the base six campaigns, this is it. We've worked very, very hard to get up to this moment. Eye of the Storm. So send me in. Send me in. So we can choose whether to have Rainer be player-owned or AI-controlled. I... I, I sort of want him to be AI controlled. We've made it this far. Big part of uh, UBD AIP is seeing how the AI scripts are, are modified, both for friend and foe. Uh, I always do get a little overwhelmed when we have to control two different factions, and I would rather just Rainer do his own thing. Uh, Necron did warn me that this mission has been modified to be a bit of a canyon map, so we'll see if it can redeem itself in our eyes. Let's go ahead and start and sit on the frozen tip screen and review what we've got. The Overmind will defend fiercely used special Zerg strains and react with large groups of units even to small attack forces. Don't waste your warriors' lives on attacks that aren't decisive. Ooh la la. What is even going on here? Uh, I asked the veterans of UED AIP on the Discord, I said, what tips do you have for me without spoiling? And I think what seemed to be the most helpful ones that I got, it said, look to the south before you look towards the Overmind. I see we're like in the middle of the map here. This is a very strangely shaped map. This is not the original, certainly. And it seems like the tile set is like, is char. Though I think the idea here is that this is like the Overmind impact crater where now it's all ruins and volcanic, which is cool. But what is happening? So I was told, look to the south first, and I was also told that your starting heroes probably can kill an early enemy base if you're very careful. Uh, as usual, mineral fields very, very light. Jim's over here to the left, and we have an expansion wide open right here in the middle. Maybe we go in and do a bit of an exploratory run here to see what's going on before we, uh, before we get too crazy. That has 30 minerals, because of course it does. Don't even harvest from that. Don't even harvest from that. The ones that are further away are probably safe. They're probably safe. We've got some revenants here. We got a reaver. We have the Gantra Thor. It. But why? <laughs> uh, oh, I get it. Okay. Jormungand's doing the, the culling, if you will. We got white and brown, the two Cerebrates that we just killed. We are under attack. This comes too late to you, but the Conclave has witnessed your defeat of the Cerebrate. They know now that they cannot deny the necessity or attack. the valiancy of your actions. We sought to punish you, while it was we who were in error. You represent what is greatest in us attack. all, and all our hopes go with you. Entaro Adun, brave sons of iron. Wow. Does that mean they're going to send some backup for us? All right. Uh, what? Ah! <laughs> I love this so much. Conclave actually coming in to help us on the other side of the Overmind. So, am I crazy, or is this mission... We are under attack. This is... Oh, That's just rude. With white and brown in the positions they were in... Is this supposed to be... The Protoss mission? You know what I mean? I'm gonna start moving down here and see if we can if we can make something happen here. But is this the it, was this the end of the the Zerg campaign previously? Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, that was a rough that was a rough start. Just flying in here, killing my uh, killing my stuff. See, there's purple. I'm just gonna. 
Oh gosh. M makes Scarabs quick. Zeratul, get in position. Well, I'm glad they're trickling in. Can't ask for more than that. Um, so, do we want to restart now? I feel like I've gotten a sense of the map. So here's the thing. We've got Tiamat here in the middle, which is the Overmind. We have an ally up here, which is the Conclave that sent actual backup. Jim's over here on the left, and we have two Dragoons that are chilling there. Um, we, maybe we can walk them back to our base. We have Vision on this middle base. And then we saw Jormungand wipe out the bottom left and right. So my thought is Jormungan might be down here. And in fact, if we're basing this off of a slightly re-terrained full circle map, right? Because this is where we had our player controlled base because we had white and brown come in and assist us. Then maybe Tiamat is here or maybe Jormungand is here. And if we can go down there with Raynor and do our insane wraith spam as we've done in the past while somehow managing to survive at home, that might be our ticket to win, and in fact, that might be our cheesy, easier ticket to win. Because if we can take out an enemy this early, then that's going to make this substantially easier. Now, the question is, is the map built around you basically having to do that? Similar to all the way back to Mission 1, First Strike, if you remember. Uh, we basically had to take out Jormungand super early, else it became untenable. So the question here is, if I do this, is it going to be too cheesy? There's no such thing as too cheesy. I do like to showcase these maps quite a bit, but I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna at least try. Let's say we can always turn our heroes around at this point if we so desire. The warriors have engaged the enemy. I am just gonna casually float down here. We're gonna get as many wraiths as we can. There's really not much I can do here to assist Raynor. He's just gotta help himself, and I am fine with that. And we don't wanna be harvesting from the super low mineral fields. Okay, this seems okay. Let's get ground weapons. Keep going. Go you, you gotta go, though. You gotta go. Yeah, we have Gantrathor's uh, stuff all set up. All of his interceptors. Let's get a... Let's get a... Uh, cybernetics core. Alright, and we're gonna come down here. We're gonna look to see if maybe the enemy set something up. Okay. And then we're gonna swing to the middle and see if what's there as well. Okay, you gotta shoot, though. Okay, red is here. And just keep in mind, the more stuff we shoot with Hyperion, the more rates we're gonna spawn. And everything's gonna be great. Now, that doesn't mean we can just slack at home. We have to build a lot of defense over here, I think. Zeratul can probably help us out substantially. And we know that they fly behind our mineral line too. Okay, let's get moving down here. Okay, let's not take unnecessary hull damage on the Gantrathor where possible, please. Alright, I'm very pleased with this. Uh, we are supply blocked, though, so let's go ahead and build some more pylons. Get some more cannons at home. We have to rely on some cannons. And let's saturate these back patches first, because I think... The further that your probes have to mine, um, that is going to mean that they're able, the mineral patches will be able to fully regenerate. Uh, like eight minerals per trip, whereas the closer ones probably not so much. Uh, is this working? Does Jormungan have another base in the bottom left? Because if so, then this is going to be a lot harder. But I'm sort of just YOLOing this and hoping for the best. We want, uh, we want Rainer to just keep shooting. Just shooting stuff so that we get more rates and don't chase. Okay, I hate that. Uh, we're gonna make Dragoons and Zealots at home. I'd love to take that middle base as well. Uh, get back on that one. Let this one regen as much as possible and these other ones are just doing their thing. Uh, yeah, air weapons. And... Okay. Hotkey these. We took out a base. This seems like a fine start. Again, is this is this easy cheesy or is this the necessary way to try and beat this? Now this should be 
something. This bait, I see creeps, so we're, we're, you know, we're doing something appropriate here. It is red. Now, again, he is, we do not want to chase with the wraiths. We want to try and build up more and more where possible. Don't run them into spore colonies. And if we get rid of their productions, not their production structures, but their, uh, their tech structures, then we're cooking with gas. Focus down the static defense. What's going on at home? Just keep making zealots. I could try and take this middle area next. Let's go ahead and build a pylon here. Wraith head on over here. This is what I don't want to have happen. Again, we're working hard to build up this Wraith death ball, so let's not lose it. Uh, let's get let's get rid of this spire. There we go. Okay. We're chilling. Are we getting upgrades on? Uh, we should be getting upgrades again on Hyperion and stuff. Or it's Graf Zeppelin, excuse me. Okay. Let's build this Nexus. One thing I also haven't tried is double building Nexuses so that you can um, you can duplicate the uh, you can duplicate the the mineral uh, speed. Okay, I can kill this spore colony. Rainer is not looking good because I, again, wasn't paying as much attention to him. Let's just sit in their mineral line here. Okay, and then this is being built. I see Jim getting attacked. I think we cannon this up, and then we let these minerals regenerate a little bit before we go ahead and just full on uh, saturate it. Ooh, my heart is pounding. <laughs> okay, Gantrathor, just go ahead and go for the support colonies. You can outrange them. And then, Jim, we're just going to sit you on hold position here as long as you're shooting. As long as you're shooting and we're generating rates, then I am happy. They are still building tech constantly, it seems like. Okay, we're attacking the hive. This is done, so let's start getting this saturated. Upgrades. Upgrades. Get that Dragoon attack range. Get ground armor level. We can get plus one everything, and then we can just build multiple uh, upgrade structures. And we could fully saturate this now. It's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we have eight, only eight, nine probes on it. So let's get at least one more, maybe two more to fully saturate this. So Gantrathor is taking some hull damage. Jim, we gotta get back to his base here pretty soon to ensure that he does not die. But Red in... Oh, no, they have another hatchery. Let's get rid of that infested uh, command center, though, because they, in theory, cannot rebuild that. Okay. Next. Citadel of a Dune. More Zealots, just in case. These Revenants are still alive, too. That pleases me. Red can build hunter killers out of the hydrogen, so we do need to kill those. But they also have no drones. The next step, next phase of the plan, we're gonna take our wraiths and we're gonna go and check the bottom right, bottom left, excuse me. Feeling like we need to spam even more cannons here to ensure that this area stays secure because orange wants it real bad. What's going on on the bottom left? I just sort of flew down there. Nothing. It's nothing. What's this? Just a casual citadel of a dune? That's exactly what it is. Okay, all right. Uh, let's get up here and destroy. I think is red just out? Dude, they're they're doing weird stuff with their overlords. I think they're I think they're pretty much out now. We have to not die versus orange. Cyan, how are you doing up here, buddy? They're alive. Conclave reinforcements here to help. The warriors have engaged the 
Is this not... This actually... Jim isn't actually connected to our base, I'm realizing. Look at that. The other important thing I'm noticing here is... is uh, now we have a bunch of bases that we can take. Let's ensure that Red is actually fully out and haven't tried to rebuild somewhere. We also... I'm going to save just in case, because I'm going to try and get the Hyperion back up to base, and I yeah, obviously can't afford him dying right now. I hope that we still get the regeneration aura. I imagine we do from his starport. What a start, okay? To be fair, I did ask for tips, and maybe I got spoiled a little... Uh-oh. I got spoiled just a little too much, but honestly, I'll take it. Curious if Jim will be taking another base as well. He very well might. Okay. Let's get crazy with our upgrades. You love you love the sound of that. You love the sound of that thing dying. How's this going over here? More probes. Uh yeah, let's build another pylon here and then over here. Uh I have to get an arbiter in order to get over here to ensure Jim doesn't die. Not that I think that he's necessarily in danger of dying, especially once we get him up there. He can just... He can just spam out a ton of uh, rates uh, while defending himself. So we can rely pretty heavily on that, I think. And then let's go ahead and get... I should have done this earlier. Let's get some cannons just sort of around my base to kill uh, incoming flyers and stuff. And we are going to need some scouts to chase down... Uh, enemy guardians that are inevitably going to start clumping up. So it seems like orange and red remain our main adversaries, but red is cleared out of this part of the map. Huh. Okay. Let's uh, let's bring our rates up here. We have multiple groups of rates. Graf Zeppelin strikes again. You love to see it. What if Gantrathor can be healed as well at the at the starports? Let's try it. Let's also save. Breathe. Breathe. I feel like we have basically just short-circuited the map straight to the second half of it. You know what I mean? That's what I feel like right now. It feels great, but I am also scared. As I mentioned, my heart is pounding. Okay, let's go ahead and get a Templar Archive for upgrades for later. We don't want to oversaturate so that we can basically have unlimited resources as time goes on. Five. There's nine here, and we have seven harvestings. Let's go ahead and get a few more. And then let's come on down here and take one of these. I mean, we'll take multiples. Jim is expanding down here. I like to see that. I do like to see that quite a bit. My mineral income is still not great, and that's because I don't want to oversaturate these patches. I don't want to oversaturate these patches because they have the potential of mining out too early. Oh, of course. Okay. Oh, he burrowed. Okay. There also might still be impalers around. Oh, I wonder... I hope that Purple doesn't still have a base somewhere. We should probably go and review all of these locations. What's funny... Oh, yeah, we're getting our upgrades on this, too. Okay, no Gantrathor healing, unfortunately, but that is just sort of the nature of things. Let's go ahead and bring Gantrathor to the center. Whew! Oh, we can't even get up there. We can get up here, though, right? Let's at least get our Nexus set up. Double gas! <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, we weren't so... I don't think we were supposed to be able to get this this early. <laughs> I'm fine with that, though. The only thing is maybe there's a, an impaler just sort of hanging out here. It doesn't seem like it, but that's the only thing we'd have to be wary of. Our economy is going to be out of control. It's going to be out of control. Okay, did I leave any rates up here? No, I did not. We're going to get all these upgrades started here soon once we can afford more and more probes. Again, like, these two are close enough to our Nexus that they probably don't have time to regenerate eight full minerals by the time a probe makes one full return, if that makes sense. So that's the only reason, like, that one will probably get mined out. These might be far enough away, I'm not so sure. I have so much gas. Okay, we're gonna get upgrades across the board. 
Oh, I need a fleet beacon to continue doing that, actually. Let's do that. I want to get a second starport here. Stargate, excuse me. Feels pretty light so far, and I think that's because we're supposed to be getting hit by red at this moment. And we are not. <laughs> I'm fine with that. This is open because there is a ramp to it. Normally, this has a ramp kind of up here in full circle. That is not the case here. Let's come on over here, and we might as well take this one as well. And then we can saturate this pretty decently because these have way more resources on them. Way more. Mm, you know what? I don't even think I need that other one. I mean, let's just saturate this one, and eventually, as long as we don't oversaturate here, um, you know, we're cooking with gas. I'll send this guy down here because he's the one that's harvesting from the patch that might get mined out if we're not careful. Actually, all of these might get mined out over here if we're not careful. So we can send these down here. There's also three geysers there, which is insane. Jim, how are you doing? He's living the dream. And then Hyperion, we gotta be careful you don't get killed by like a billion Scourge coming at you all at once. Okay, I've been playing a little lackadaisical here. We gotta actually ensure that we continue the upgrade path. Uh, we can build some production... No, well, we can't really build some production down here, but I was thinking we build some production down here. Yo, look at him! He's living the dream! I'm living the dream! This is awesome! Okay. It does feel a bit anticlimactic that we've sort of uh, circumvented the challenge of the final map by doing this. Uh, don't at me about it, okay? You guys come on down here instead. We can build all our pylons down there, too. Again, I'm trying... I don't want to mine out all of these patches, even though we do have access to a lot more stuff. But if we don't have to do it, then I'm not going to do it. Oh, that's nice of him. Look at him. Oh, that's not good, though. I wonder if we can even get up there to help them. I wasn't really paying attention to that. At the very least, they did their job. They did their duty, which is to distract for us while we uh, steadily get into position. So we need to set up a bunch of gateways where we can. And we're going to have our double Stargate action. Uh, it seems to me like I just am not going to be able to get up there to help them. Unfortunately. Why is there so much unbuildable terrain here? I don't I don't like that. I just want to build more production structures, but I can't fit them anywhere. I would have loved to keep them alive, I, I'll tell you. But honestly, I think it's worth it. They were the meat shield. That's why Orange hasn't been attacking us very much, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, this area down here. Continue saturating, and let's build several... Let's just build our little pylon farm here. We can start plus three stuff here momentarily as well. It's going to be a big mineral dump, but the sooner we get to plus three, then we can just start making our push towards the Overmind. I do like keep keeping my allies alive, but it was a hard lesson that I learned a long time ago. Yeah, they don't even have probes left. It was a hard lesson that I learned quite a while ago, which is sometimes your allies exist to be meat shields, and you have to accept that. Uh, you know what, Zeratul, we're going to keep you kind of at home for the, for the rest of this. We're going to increase scout attack range. And we're going to get a group of scouts. Don't worry about minerals for now. We'll get this set up as well. All these guys are saturated. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm playing original StarCraft now, <laughs> but now that Orange is going to start focusing on us and or Jim, it is going to become a lot more intense, I think. Funnily enough, I wonder if they'll actually finish this off. Maybe they maybe they won't. It, it seems like Cyan doesn't have enough money to, to rebuild, but they are kind of alive up there, you know? <laughs> They're doing their best. And one thing I, I actually realize is sometimes you want to build maybe a little further away from the resources just so that, again, you want... You want an equilibrium where the resources can regenerate exactly eight minerals when a probe makes one full return. So that you have, again, that infinite... Infinite stuff going on. Are we dealing with the... Yeah, the, the sunken colony regen. Of course, it's Dagoth sunken colonies. Okay, let's uh, move on down here. Uh, as much as, I mean, the revenants are also kind of heroic. Maybe want to leave them at, at home for now. 
That actually gives me some space to build more gateways. Not much. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and start plus three ground. And this is, you know, we could saturate this probably a lot more considering that there's so many patches. But we don't have to. We can just saturate this one instead. If we're going to build more probes and use our supply that way, then we might as well. Uh, we can send Jim up here to just start generating some wraiths. Between Graf Zeppelin and then just outright, you know, knowing that, you know, using our, our knowledge to... Oh my gosh, look at this attack. <laughs> I can't be mad. But anyway, having, you know, having all of our, um... Having Grab Zeppelin, Zeppelin plus cheesing the enemy ma uh, dudes out early, which I guess we did with the help of Grab Zeppelin, um, does feel kind of like cheating. I'm going to get some DTs because they are very strong. It doesn't seem like every attack here is coming with detection. Good work. Just keep spawning the rates. This is why I spawned the rates. Well, they're alive again, but they're basically out. I think the a I think the enemy recognizes that they're out, so they're not uh, they're not really bothering us. Dude, Jim doing the Lord's work. You seeing this? Dude, that orange attack was really scary, though. Did you see that? Oh my gosh! That's what I would expect, though, for an end game mission here. Okay, we're gonna just start making some gateway units. We're just going to start spamming out some stuff. Uh, let's go Archons as well, because that's what we can certainly afford right now. This is what we now can saturate. You can see we can't quite build as much as we'd like to our like full-on heart's content. Not yet. I've sort of been lackadaisically letting this base regenerate just in case, but I think we have enough... Dude, this is great. I, I'm loving this extra base you took. Let's just get this base saturated and we'll be good. I don't think I need to... I don't think I really even need to worry about... I don't think I even need to worry about the resources at this base, to be honest, but... It certainly doesn't hurt. Okay, plus three air. Then we get a few carriers. Not too many, but some. We grab... One with the Kalai or whatever it's called. Yeah, that's what it's called. The one with the Kala. Oh my gosh, I'm a lore master. So, sir, and you can retire. You've been replaced. So, sorry, and I just imagine, you know, in Wings of Liberty, in uh, in the big in the big uh, holdout mission where the Protoss, you get to survive until the last Protoss falls. Uh, that he's Mohandar when Mohandar dies. He's like, I return to the void, and he just crumbles into dust. <laughs> okay. Saw a pretty big attack coming. It seems like this is the direction they want to get to us from. What is this? Nine patches. We can get this perfectly. Uh, Perfectly saturated, as all things should be. Do we see any probes that are looking for, for other patches? Exactly. One per. That's what you love to see. Then we got that coming in. We got all of our upgrades going. Scout. Faster scout movement. We de You know, mass flipping scouts. Chen La smiles down upon us as we make mass scouts. That's an inside joke for those of you that don't know. Chen La is a community member who loves making mass scouts. He's the Zach Galifianakis gif that slowly zooms in on him and then he smiles and nods. Okay, dude, look at the income too. We get we get maybe four carriers, a mixed ground force with a ton of scouts. Oh yes. What do we need? What else do we need? Observers, don't make me laugh. Only red can build, uh... 
Only red can build impalers, and red is gone. Red has some pre-placed stuff, but otherwise they got nothing. I will take... I, you know, I'll build an observatory just in case. We're forward-thinking here at Jay Barino Incorporated. Dude, Jim is putting some hurt on up here. He's doing great. He's working hard. He's doing his best. Get over here, Graf Zeppelin. Spawn me some rights. Wait, do I have cloak now too? Yes. <laughs> we are under attack. This is why this is why I chose to just let Jim be an AI, okay? So that I didn't have to deal with defending both these locations. This AI is doing way better than I ever could. But, like, we also have Graf Zeppelin, which is arguably the best hero unit in the entire game. It doesn't get much better than this. I think it's about time that we try and make a move here. I built two observatories. You know what? We get both of these upgrades at the same time. He's a genius. Very purposefully planned. Arbiter Tribunal. And then whatever that building is, wherever we can fit it, please. Do I have any other upgrades to be getting? We're waiting for carriers. We queue up two more carriers and then lots of scouts. Air units will be the way to go. And then, of course, Dark Templar, because I think... Do, wait, do we even need Dark Templar to kill the Overmind? It just says destroy the Overmind. Also, you ever wonder where Phoenix is on this mission? Where did he go? I think as we attack towards the Overmind, I will bring Grav Zeppelin and... Uh, and Hyperion. Er, no, <laughs> Grav Zeppelin and... Uh, you know... Uh, the, the Gantrathor, that's it. We blast him? Oh, that is a Kakulza, excuse me. A Kakulza, uh... That was a Kakulza Guardian. I don't like that one bit. Okay, we make Interceptors. We continue... Oh, dude, we're, we're playing SimCity StarCraft. You haven't seen this since you were eight to nine years old, okay? You haven't seen anything like this since you were eight to nine years old. Arbiter upgrades. We'll get an Arbiter. We build scouts. We mix in these Archons. They're three, three, three. Instructions. Necron, I actually, I actually am kind of sorry. Like I, I admit this was probably not what you wanted to see. And perhaps I ended up spoiling this for myself by asking people, like, maybe, you know, a good way to play this. And here we are. In the year of our Lord 2023. Shuttle, please fly to your death. I'm loving that this faction is still alive. They can't do anything, but they are not being killed. I sort of appreciate that. Oh, it do be a canyon map, though. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, get in there, boys. Jim hitting from all angles. Look at him, he's diving in there. Can he get the, can he get it? He did, what a god. We've been plagued, maybe a reason to not, maybe a reason to not bring the Gantrathor and the Grav Zeppelin. We've been plagued. Okay, I need actually observers. Build several of them. Oh, don't gorge me, bro. Uh, another reason to bring Zeratul as well is we can heal these things out of combat. Oh, well, Graf Zeppelin's here, so I guess we're using them. Keep going. We, we can't fight them under the swarm. Though, we could just... We could fight them under the swarm. And, uh... And just get endless wraiths spawned from the Graf Zeppelin. That is certainly a possibility. Can I just bring these Dragoons up here? Are they stuck here? I think they're stuck here. We'll recall them eventually. Go ahead, Commander. I would love to research recall, please. Gauchu. What did you just say to me? All right. Zealot time, baby. We got the income. Zealot time. Upgrade 
Look, I would never, in my wildest dreams, try and be like, well, this mission's underwhelming. It's not. <laughs> in fact, I love this mission because I was given the opportunity to do something crazy and have it work. Okay, he has not been plagued. We need more zealots in the fight. Too much Dark Swarm. Okay, if they're gonna Dark Swarm that, then we take the high ground. Oh, I'm sorry, Raynard. You're not gonna fare very well there, I don't think. Good luck, though. Ooh, Nidus Canals. Kill those. Those actually produce units. I don't know where we're going or like what direct like what we're moving towards here. Scouts. Oh. Did that arbiter ever get built? Did it fly over a thing and die? I wouldn't be surprised. Max scarabs, please. I think we still have a reaver alive in this mess. Observer, get up here and find the find the bur the inevitable burrowed uh, defiler. Dude, Graf Zeppelin is just too good. I will, against my better judgment, bring the Gantrathor because that's what this feels like here. We're going crazy. There it is. Get on up there. It just feels way too dangerous to bring Zeratul. He is very strong, but it just feels very dangerous. We're gonna make so many zealots. We'll bring in some dragoons. We need some. We just need some quantity in this army now. Feeling like maybe we're gonna want to back out here and heal, grab Zeppelin pretty soon. If we bring Zeratul, we can heal our guys. We've got a little launching point. I'm bringing him up. As soon as he gets up here, we're gonna save. Wraiths? You have a job to do. Murder. Oh, it's a normal queen. I thought it'd be like a matriarch or something. Dude, we're like on top of the flipping thing. Though keep in mind, it's sad. The Overmind's gonna get extremely mad when you attack it. So let's be prepared for that. We're gonna mix in some Dark Templar. And by some Dark Templar, I mean many Dark Templar. And then where's where's my Arbiter? Dragoons, welcome to the fight. You thought you were safe in Rainer's base? In AI-controlled Rainer's base? Oh, surely the allied uh, double player couldn't possibly be killed. I'm safe here for the whole mission. Nope. Now you're here, and now you're probably going to die. Good luck. Does he heal Rainer? He does. <laughs> Zeratul, he's a god. Heal the Gantrathor, please? Oh, baby. Dude, let him cook. Look, again, difficulty-wise, I have nullified it, but I am having a delightful time, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I, You know, to be fair, in this campaign, I have had a pretty delightful time across the board, but this is, this is, this is a real good one. This is hitting the spot, okay? It's really hitting the spot. Dude, look at that juicy mineral field right there. We got to get some probes on that so we can refresh and see it become the mineral field that it was always meant to be. So, I could just go in on the Overmind right now. Alternatively, we want to clear out the area around it. Because, again, it's going to call in like a billion things to defend it. I think we have to move in a little bit over here. Move in just a little bit so that we can allow our reinforcements to move up here. Jim getting healed, Gantrathor getting healed. I'm a little concerned I'm gonna end up losing a hero in the final assault just because I feel like it's appropriate to have them there and then we just lose. I hear the, I hear the irradiate and just assume that I'm getting irradiated, but for once, it's actually, it's actually our ally doing it. Are we 3-3-3 on Rainers? 
he's not even 333 yet. I feel like we have, again, we have, uh... Ooh. Oh my gosh, it shoots three. Holy cow. I'll be honest, I'm a little scared. Maybe I should look for more Nidus Worms. Canals. Jim's keeping him busy, though. Oh my gosh. Let's get down here and kill this. You get healed by Zeratul, please. Again, I'm maxed out. I, I got nothing to lose if we just attack now, besides accidentally losing our hero. Hey, but the earlier we finish this map, the longer I can... I can go on an unhinged rant about whatever my end feelings on the map are. Oh, Revenants, we already lost one probably to spawn Broodling, if I had to guess. Where? Oh. Oh my. Don't do it. Well, DT, you're gonna be kinda critical here, okay? Good luck. Well, I sort of deserve this. <laughs> They're coming in in a trickle. Okay, we're fine. Oh, well, my units got pulled into it, so we're going. Uh, don't save. Where's Mr. Grav Zeppelin? Rainer, we, we need you, buddy. Oh, Zeratul. Oh, he's not looking good. Hang back, buddy. Yo, you, you gotta kill this, though. Okay, actually, I'm gonna back out. We're gonna back out. We lost we lost a lot there. I started attacking the Overmind. Oh, it has shields. Interesting. Actually, I still have a lot of Dragoons up there, don't I? Let's go ahead and get up there. And get up there. I don't know. Again, Jim is has the, Jim's forces have decided that the Overmind, I guess, can live. He just wants to kill the outlying stuff. You know what? That's great. Keep it up, buddy. You're doing the Lord's work. Okay. It's it's why it's it's right there. It's 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 right there. We're just getting our reinforcements up into position, and then we're going for it. Zeratul just needs some... Some shields. I should probably just build a bunch of shield batteries. Somewhere. Oh, all this being unbuildable terrain is a bit frustrating. I assume it's to stop the player from being able to spam out a bunch of somethings. Maybe cannons? I don't know. Like, you don't want the player to overbuild cannons? Maybe? I have no idea if that's true. Get some escorts. We're getting a little bit of everything, which again is pretty much always against what I would recommend people should do. But I feel like it's what I always end. It's what I have ended up doing here for a while. Yeah, kill the Greater Spire. They probably got like six more of them, but you know. Okay. We're getting maxed out. We're going in, boys. That sunken colony. These sunken colonies have to go. In fact, let's use the let's use our our carriers maybe to pick them off. I regret it. Well, th that can hit me. That's fine. That's not a big deal. Oh, oh! I was given a reaver for free, but I will not build another one. I built one last time though, and I you know what? I sort of regret it. I shouldn't have done it. You know, this certainly can't hurt. We pick off this hive right here. Reduce their production. Yeah, see, they're rebuilding their spire. That's a good sign. Okay, cool. Jim going in to clean it up. All right, I think it's time. I think it's about time. We save. Jim's going in a, a little further up, so we're going, we're going. We're auto-attacking, and we will focus fire down colonies as necessary. What was just killed? It wasn't one of my heroes, and that's all that matters, I think. Go, 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 go. 
We're focus firing. Dude, it's got a lot of HP. It's regenning something. Okay. Dude, <laughs> Graf Zeppelin is, is, it's just too strong. Straight up, it's just too strong. That's really all this comes down to. I don't know what was going on with the Overmind there. It seemed like it would regen shields and health at random intervals. I'm not sure. It's too bad our Cyan uh, buddies were destroyed, but they started closest to Orange, and they absorbed Orange's attacks for a very long time, which I think is what... We were supposed to use that to our advantage to take out purple and probably part of red. We took out purple and red really, really fast. Anyway, we don't have to watch the cutscene. We've, we've seen it. Gantrathur crashes into the Overmind, and then we're left wondering what comes next. A gentleman, 66 APM, don't at me. We'd spent a lot of the mission just sort of sitting around being gleeful. Uh, is a very rare time in UED AIP when you feel like I don't have to do anything. Uh... Again, I, like, sort of apologize, and I almost feel like maybe I should play this again and not kill Red super fast. <laughs> uh, but I, you know what? We played, how many missions are in StarCraft? Like, 62 or something? Um, we, we played everything here. We struggled with a lot of them. I, th I feel like I deserve to cheese one map here, okay? There weren't too many maps in the past that I cheesed in this uh, project, so we cheese this one. Uh, okay. Okay. What is there? What is there to say? I mean, I, I feel like I, j I tend to say the same stuff uh, every time I finish a, a UED AIP campaign. So you know, it's always good things. I'm like, oh, I shouldn't compliment him again. He doesn't deserve it. No, it's just more like it's pretty repetitive. I really like this project, and it's a rare one where I do sort of stress a little bit about playing it before I start playing it. And then when I do play it, pretty much every time, I'm like, that was great. <laughs> but it is a little stressful. So there is a bit of a barrier to entry, and it's psychological. And then once you get into it, I feel like beating some of these missions, most of these missions, I'd say, provide a really powerful sense of reward that you do not get through the base game. Through, through any of the base game, through any of the Blizzard real-time strategy base games, or really any real-time strategy base base games. It's stuff like this where, like, you know how to play the game, you might not be an expert, but if you use your brain, uh, you can really, um, you can, you can really go into something that seems way too challenging. You think, oh, there's no way. And then you play it, and you kind of find some trick to it, or you find, you find something that allows you to just figure it out and it feels great that's why i said at the beginning like if you're not sure about this you're like oh well i'm i played starcraft but you know i'm not a very fast player whatever whatever here's what i'll tell you with this project just don't be afraid to lose usually when you're gonna lose it's gonna be decently early into the missions just accept it as like a trial run see where the enemy comes from find where the enemy bases are and then restart with that knowledge, and I guarantee you will do substantially better. And if you can't win on that attempt, then I, am, then I would almost guarantee from there you'll win on your third attempt after that. It's like almost guaranteed. It's happened to me a few times where I've had to restart, but then when I do, then it's like, it feels easy breezy. And that's just because finding that map, finding what you need to know on the map and then executing on it, even if you're kind of slow, makes a world of difference and it feels great. Again, there's a, there's a feeling of accomplishment that comes with that. I feel like that you just don't get in a normal vanilla map where you're just like, okay, go and kill the enemy, right? It's just, there's so much more to interact with on in terms of the enemy and the allied AI in this project that uh, I just, I can't recommend it enough. I, I think that, you know, StarCraft is secondary in terms of viewership on my channel now, right? My channel is dominated by Warcraft 3, but I really wish, I don't know what else I can do, but this series I feel like just deserves more attention. Not because I want more views on the videos, but because I want more people to play this and see what kind of stuff is being made here, because I 
the the behavior of the computer players I feel like is something that I would love to see emulated across a, you know all sorts of custom projects. Uh, and then Necron, I feel like, does also stand in a special league of creators where if you're a hobbyist and you're making something for free, I feel like you're, you're not necessarily obligated to meet players where they're at and give them what they want, right? A lot of times people just make stuff because it's what they want to make, and I sort of appreciate and love that. I, I respect it a lot, but Necron is one of the few that does make, uh, I think, an extra effort, much more so than your typical projects that you see in the custom community spaces to modify these maps perpetually um, to address things that people bring up, not just bug fixing per se, but to just design the maps, redesign the maps, polish the maps in ways that make them a little more accessible to players, uh, remove as much randomness, I think, as you can in many cases, and just make the maps... Uh, approachable and make the maps actually fun but still challenging both or I would say make them challenging but still fun I would that's how I describe it I would describe this as challenging but still fun uh, the opposite makes it seem like it's not that challenging if I were to say it's fun but still challenging no it's challenging but still fun um, and, and if anything it's more fun because it feels like you're actually overcoming something and you're engaging with an opponent that will kill you if you allow them to <laughs> You, you have to disallow them from killing you. Whereas generally, uh, in, in base games, and even a lot of custom campaigns, the enemy won't actually kill you, and if they do, it's usually because of some bullshit scripted attack that, like, they spawn 20 carriers from off the screen, and then, oh, nice job, you didn't prepare for that? Oh, too bad. Um, it doesn't ever feel like there's a situation like that in UEDIP. It generally feels fair, and when you lose, it can be frustrating. I've gone through it several times where I have to just take a break, and then I'm sitting around, I'm like, uh, I do want to get back to that. I think I can beat it now. After basically rage quitting. It, it's happened several times in this project. Um, so I don't know. It's it's a love-hate relationship. So all I can say is I highly recommend it. Uh, it can be frustrating at times, but then eventually overcome it and it's going to feel way better. And then you'll look back as I have and thought, why did I ever get frustrated? It's just part of the process. It's just part of the process. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is one of those rare projects that does, I think, make a strong effort to meet players where they're at. One thing I always say about custom content, maybe I don't, I haven't always said this, I've written this in discords and stuff, but maybe I've never said it in a video. But when you approach custom content like this, uh, it's sort of the job of the player to try to meet the project where it's at, just as it is the creator's job to meet you where you are at. When you buy a product, the expectation is the developers are being paid to meet you where you're at, to meet your expectations, to give you what you are wanting. Even if you don't know you want it, sometimes it is exactly what you say you want, sometimes it's something you didn't know you want, but in any case, it's meant to just entertain you straight up. Whereas with custom content, sometimes, or a lot of the times, um, you have to put in a little bit more effort to kind of find that, that heart in the project, right? There's that little piece of humanity, that little bit of passion and love that goes into every project, no matter how janky it might be. And if you can find that and you can you can focus in on it and hone in on it and at least recognize it, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this stuff, even again, if it's super janky. This is a project where the creator actually is going out of their way to meet you where you are at, at least to an extent. And if you're willing to take that extra step towards it, towards the project, towards Necron's plans, you know, the, the creator's intentions, you'll have a blast with it. Um, uh, hopefully I am not being too repetitive with all the good things I've said about this project in the past. Um, you know, there are criticisms here or there. It's generally map to map, some faction related stuff. I've talked about it all in the maps themselves. Um, I really turned my idea around on the mineral regeneration, the crystal mending. I really hated it in the first half of this campaign. And then by the end, I thought it was kind of neat, like on Homeland and Trial of Tassadar and then Eye of the Storm in particular, I like the idea that there's one, one, two, maybe even three mineral patches that are really close to your nexus that have like 15 or 20 minerals. And if you, if you don't manually move your probes off of them, then you just permanently lose a mineral patch right at the beginning. But you can sort of min-max that smallest of things, and then you have one extra mineral patch that you can almost infinitely mine from or mine from it from much, much, much longer. Uh, so that's like a, a huge income boost in the long run. And just that little extra added thing where you make a, even the smallest amount of effort and you see like a very direct payoff in the long run. I really love that. I really love that. I love this uh, campaign's use of bank data, uh, specifically allowing me to use the Graf Zeppelin, which carried me on two of the missions in this campaign. 
Uh, yes, so thumbs up to Graf Zeppelin, and we'll go out on that note. Thanks again to Necron, thanks everyone for watching. We will return for UED AIP Beyond sometime in the far future. And uh, until then, have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.